Oh, it's a. Are oh. you absolutely stop? It's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> and I went all over the world to compete in cycling events. Jeez. Oh wow! You're kidding me, Danny. <laughs> Even more down here, all running and. In a quaint Swedish town, nestled among inhabited homes, we stumbled upon a wonderful yellow abandoned house. It was one of the most untouched houses we had come across on our journey through Sweden. Doch, a local Swedish man had spent his whole life in this breathtaking location. He met his wife at an outdoor competition and fell in love eventually settling down in this charming home together. The two were a perfect match, both passionate about the outdoors and competing in marching events all over Europe and the world. Their home was filled with a collection of marching and sporting awards that they acquired over the years. Thor and Sevea were deeply in love and spent their entire life together in this beautiful home. Their house is a reflection of their lives, from the countless pieces of crystal and porcelain to the plants that cover every corner of the house. Thor died at a relatively young age, but Sevilla refused to let their passion die with him and continued competing in sporting events all over the world. Sadly, around 30 years ago, she also passed away leaving behind their legacy. The house is still overflowing with memories of their past life together. Let's embark on another adventure in Sweden and see what treasures await us inside. Welcome back everybody to another episode on the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, like usual, behind the camera, hello, hello. Mr. Danny, and we are filming another episode in the country of Sweden. You probably already figured that from the rain <laughs> falling on our heads. But here in front of us, we're standing in one of the most preserved time capsules in this country a place that has been abandoned for three decades. We are super excited to take you inside. It's gonna be right over there, into the basement, into the open latch of the basement. <laughs> I wanna go inside, I'm Very soaking. Over, <laughs> yeah. Oh, everything on the outside oh, oh, has been taken over by nature. Are you okay, Danny? Yes, the plants are going around okay. your ears. <laughs> And here we come into the basement of the house. It's very unusual to see basements in Sweden, right? We have not seen them before. Yeah. This is the first one. It's just like in the, in the south of the United States. We also don't see yeah, in the yeah. north of the United States. North, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I guess in Sweden they didn't really need basements and when it freezes in winter, it's also not very nice to have a basement. Yeah. Very low as well, I cannot... Be careful, be careful. You're stepping on a big oh, hole. That's... The water well. Yeah. Okay. You're stepping I'm on a big very hole, lucky yeah. that I didn't go further because Don't. this would literally cave in. <laughs> yeah. I have a quick look throughout this basement before we go upstairs. You can see all their bottles, all their drinks. These traditional beer bottles still left here. Lato, never drunk it before. Probably something Swedish. And here was Mr. Tori, his workshop all his tools and everything that he used to fix things are still left in here. Like the day he left Planet Earth behind. Oh my gosh. Is that... No way. Yep. No, I thought, no, that, I thought that electricity still functions inside of this house. <laughs> the spider standing in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, oh. that's insane. How can that be still on after three decades? Who pays for Maybe it? Maybe just the main one. I yeah. don't think the rest functions. It's full of water, this house. And a quick look on that side. You have to be really careful here. This looks like a sort of arched style cellar in here. 
and some sort of a food a food storage or something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's go out of this basement because it's very moist. Let me, let me back up slowly. Watch out falling. with that hole. Oh, I... Whoa. This is very small. Oh, very geez. difficult to traverse this terrain. Yeah. I love the colored, colorful car carpet that I laid here on the stair with the top floor. It gives this basement a little bit of character. Forgotten plants and everything's still standing here. Okay. And here everybody, we come into the hallway of the house. The front entrance where the guests would be led into the house, where everybody would be welcomed inside their place. The place of Torre and Sevilla. I hope I'm saying that right because it's still a little bit difficult to pronounce all these names. But uh, yeah, not really much to say about it. We got some coats over here. The Swedish everything. flag. Of course, yeah. And, and maybe to hang outside. Because most Swedish houses always have these flagpoles and then yeah. they put these flags outside of the house. To be honest, Sweden is the most patriotic country that I've seen so far in Europe. Like, they display their flag, they're very proud of their country, and we are all also proud. You're proud of yeah, Portugal, yeah, yeah. I'm proud of Belgium, but they are, they literally show it. Yeah, they have the small ones, the big ones they that got we everything. have seen. Yeah. Oh, wait, can I point out another... Oh, uh, yes, all those tools on the wall here. It's clearly just for decoration, but the same tools appear again. I see the tools to the right, the scissors over there, those are gardening equipment. But so do you think this is also a gardening equipment? I'm not sure, maybe to stamp ground, like to uh, um, you think compact it's soil or something like that. Could it be? I don't think it's to stamp, because this is a weight that is to hang somewhere yeah. up there. So I have no idea. Still, we haven't figured it out after yeah. being in Sweden for such a long time. A little display piece to this side as well. They had some sifts and some bo boils over here. Some measuring devices and I love this coffee grinder. You can see, Sevilla went all over the world for his work and he probably collected these rocks. This is one is from Oland and he collected it in 1986. Got a, novel, a couple more rocks for his, from his display over here. And then everybody, we enter to one of the most important rooms of the house, the kitchen where the food was made. Oh, this one is still very much intact. Yeah. Like, it feels that they have left it behind very recently. Rico. An A, probably. Oh no, this one is to hold up these plates. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you thought it was a letter A. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really know what it was. It is to but hold then the I plates. saw that it was like, it holds these plates together. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> these plants have been hanging here for 30 years inside of this pot. The last time they put them up, probably around 1990, and never to be changed again. The table still made like the day they last left here. Still got a nice bottle of uh, fine wine, white wine standing on the table, ready for their consumption during a meal. And here we got one of the last calendars and you can see also one of the last dates inside of the house, July. 1992. Can you imagine that, uh, Danny? Since the year 1992, five years before we were even born, six years for you, this house was already <laughs> abandoned. It it's was... abandoned for 30 years exactly. Can you imagine that everything in here has exactly been here like we are living on this planet? Yeah. That's, that's crazy to me. Yeah. yeah. And then we come 30 years later to document it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's always something that boggles my mind yeah, when I go yeah, throughout yeah. these places. I love this pot of coffee that's still filled. It hasn't been opened yet, but there's coffee still inside of here. Look at the design on there. Wow. <laughs> that's absolutely amazing. What do you want to see in there? Just looking. Yeah, it's food because, pantry. Yeah, I was looking because there's no fridge. Yeah, right. the fridge is here. Oh, <laughs> of course, in my traditional sense, I always have... Are oh. you absolutely kidding me? For 30 years? I'm a moment speechless. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what to say. 
How can this be like this for 30 years with this electricity still working after all that time? <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I have to... I, I cannot believe this. Yeah, it's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Beautiful clock standing here. Is this like a pocket clock that you would take with you? Uh, yes and no. Uh, my grandfather had one of the same. No, no, you have to pull up. Oh, pull, sorry. Pull it up. Oh, yeah. And then and it, yeah, it's it. kind of a pocket one, but it's more yeah. for decoration because you, it's still big. Yeah, it's still a very big one. Yeah. Because if you want to watch the time, you just mm -hmm. pull up your wrist. The radio is still standing here. Everything's still neatly standing here. And then behind you, the kitchen where the food was prepared. Also, like you can see the wine bottles and everything still on the sink. All the tools still present to make a lovely meal. I love also the tile that they have inside of here. Yeah. Wow. And all these little porcelain jars with coffee and all the spices and everything. And this one still filled with coffee. Coffee beans. Coffee beans, <gasps> coffee beans yeah. On top of here, all the decoration pieces, and again, some more spices left up there. What a place! Oh, I'm already speechless, and we are just in the first room of this house. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot more to cover, and that is the next room over there. A really, really interesting one as well. And I think this used to be the study room of some sort. Study? or office an office kind of room yeah yeah if you have a look at the wall this is one of the rooms where they displayed their most proudest memories that they had throughout their life and their achievements maybe starting off with the big band on the yeah on the wall over here this is the f one of the first things that Minnie and Danny looked at when we came into this house yeah it stands out Mr. Sevilla, uh, Mr. Torre and, and his wife Sevilla were both very much into sporting events and they went all over the world to compete in cycling events, in walking events, in running events. You can see marathons, you can see marchings. Uh, they also contributed uh, to um, UNICEF. UNICEF, as you can see, and they displayed it all very proudly inside. Collect USA stamps at the top over there. <laughs> So they also probably went to the United States to do certain things. There's so much emblems. Yeah, I've never seen something like this Me before. Me neither. Me neither. Even more down here. All running and... This is the Langlaufen that I told you about. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, You yeah. see the skis underneath their feet? Skis, yeah. We talked about it in Elsa's house. We will link it up there. Elsa's house. We saw this type of skis. Uh, and uh, they are very typical for the north of Europe. This looks so royal, this one. Yeah. So look at this. See, Sweden. can you name the countries? Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know geography. <laughs> Very good, man. Oh, oh. What did I just drop? It's an box. empty box. Yeah, but I've seen, can I turn back? Yeah. I've seen more on this side. Oh my God, it's never ending. It's never ending. Even Literally. fishing competitions over here and more langlaufen and wow. Even Norway competitions. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Love this uh, temperature meter as well here. Yeah. Thermometer, Leslie. That's a thermometer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little cabin in the woods. This is not the house that we were in today. That the house on the outside is, is yellow. This one is black. And here we can see them all sitting in church. Wow. I always love the display of the family on the walls as well. Yeah. The heritage. Very this Beautiful. is, this is uh, the family's heritage. I don't know if it's Sevilla side or Torre side, but we can most likely safely assume that it's Torre side because he was the one who was from Sweden and who lived here. And uh, yeah, I think he inherited the house. Also. Yeah, this is probably his family's house yeah. over the years. Jeez. Oh, wow. You're kidding me, Danny. <laughs> this one is full of pictures. Wow, absolutely wonderful. Oh, there's even these very, very small ones in here. Oh, those, those small photos are from this small camera. It's a pocket camera. Oh my gosh. Here they are langlaufing and skiing. Look at that, in the mountains of Sweden. Oh my, 
I recognize this room where this man is standing, and I don't know if this is Torre, but... Could be. Okay. Wallpaper. I'm gonna take this one with me because I'm gonna show you where inside the house. This is taken. I'm gonna lay it here for a second, I will take it later. But you can see even more pictures of all the imported events throughout our lifetime. Oh, probably when that child was born. Oh, excuse me. Wow. This is beautiful. I'm gonna put this one nicely back. This is a it's very full of pictures. Important box. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I? Yeah, sure. Oh, this shouldn't be here. Absolutely no, not. That box, no. More things on top of here. I can see some shotgun shells. I can see some more ancient pictures. These are 1900s pictures, yeah, right if I'm not mistaken. Early 1900s, Early late 1800s. 1800s and 19, yeah. yeah. These are from his Money ancestors, also. yeah. Swedish krona left behind. More pins and emblems of him. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. Little statues. Jeez, this man was very active throughout his life. He, he yeah. never stopped doing stuff, I think. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, for sure. Here's, oh, here's his child together with his dog at a cabin somewhere in Sweden. Very typical depiction of a Swedish cabin. Okay. Wow. I can I cannot stop talking yeah. about all the stuff inside of here. Look over there, more sporting diplomas. And down below it, we can see a diploma from Sofia when she was 75 years old in 1989. And she died only a couple years later, so we can safely assume she almost got to the age of 80 years old. Yeah. And then we have a sort of studying desk over here. But also all the plants withering away, still on top of there. You know what Rabat means? Uh, no. Discount. So oh. you got a three, three krona discounts with 30 cents in nowadays. I don't know on what, but yeah. Still a letter and everything lying there. Another little display here on the wall. Oh my God, I love this one. That's a typical depiction of Sweden. A lake with a little house on the lake. I love it. <laughs> and a man taming his cows. The old picture over there as well. Here we can see them marching. This is probably one of those marches that he controlled. Yeah, that he. Oh my gosh. Looks like scouts. <laughs> yeah, but have a look over here. Kronenberg Ghana and Nijmegen. That's in the Netherlands. I, I can read this. This is in Dutch. Vier dagen Nijmegen. The four days of Nijmegen. Mm -hmm. So he went to the Netherlands to compete in that. Recognize these animals? Uh, they're. Mooses. Can't... That's a moose. That's a moose? That's a moose. Without the antlers? Yeah, some mooses don't have antlers. They're the female ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tapestry behind here. Wow. And then we got another display. <laughs> Look at Tore Syntic in front of all the plants over here. Absolutely beautiful. Somebody was proud of his chicken. chicken. <laughs> Nothing on the back. Yeah, as you can see, more stuff everywhere, more pins and all these things. I love the comb that's still lying here as well. All the plants behind there. And this looks like, sorry, I haven't talked about this drawer yet, but this looks like a sort of a lady's drawer. Yeah. As you can see the mirror there's, on top. There's a lot of misplaced furniture in the house. Yeah, this is something I would expect in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Just want to have a quick look inside. Even a television in this room, yeah. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, maybe to watch some television in here. Even more display pictures and everything on the wall. Love the clock face as well that we have over here. Wow. All those houses, I'm wondering what those houses had to do with this place. Where are they his houses, where are they his family's houses? I think it's family houses because these photos of horses and yeah. ancient... Tore Gilsmach. And again, the 60, 63rd uh, four date of Nijmegen in Holland, in the Netherlands. And maybe we can see Tore somewhere. Here's a man. Oh no, I think this is the man. I think this is him with his glasses on. And there they were walking the four days of Nijmegen. Wow. 
<laughs> my mind is blown from this room. And we have to go further now because there's even more to see throughout this house. This is another hallway, but then on the other side of the house, as you can see, it's also overloaded with stuff. Yeah, it's been overthrown. Yeah, a little bit like people might have been in here in, yeah. in those 30 years. Can you pick up that? Oh, I just saw it. What from... do you want to see? Oh, I didn't even oh, see it. Wow. 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 That doesn't this, even look like Sweden. It doesn't even look real. Yeah. Like this plate is amazing. I don't feel like this should be on the floor. No, absolutely not. Let's look on the back. It's uh, the British scene made in England. It's an England English porcelain plate. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna give it and I'm just gonna lay it on the table yeah, here because please, I think it doesn't deserve to be on the ground at all. Some things like that, you really want to save them, but yeah. as an explorer, we have respect for these places. We don't take anything. We, don't, yeah. we are not the owners of this, of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. sometimes we just place things in a safer place so yeah. they don't get destroyed. Look at that, <laughs> the antler on the wall, completely filled with all kinds of different stuff. We can see knives, we can see ribbons, we can see everything. <laughs> it is amazing how they used it as yeah. a sort of coat hook. <laughs> I also love this bench that's standing here. Oh, the clothing still on there. I think that was the toilet. I'm not 100% sure. You want sure. me to try to open yeah. it? Yeah, you can open it. Yeah. Exactly. It's the toilet. Okay. <laughs> Almost unreachable now. Yeah. It's also a lovely display of this mining town above here. Wow. And then this hall mirror here, where you could check out yourself before you went out of the house. Okay, um, <laughs> I don't know There's so much yeah, to... Is this something oh. Portuguese? Or Italian? Rufino? Rufino, Italian. Sounds very Italian, Italian yeah. yeah. Okay. Bro, I haven't seen one since America. Mm. Electrolux. Electrolux, yes, yes, you're right. Those were the American vacuum cleaners that we saw all throughout our videos in the United States. If you haven't seen them yet, I'm just gonna plug them up here. United yeah. States videos, definitely almost worth to check out. Almost in every house there was yeah. one, yeah. And exactly in this shape as well. Yeah, Okay. so definitely 90s. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure 90s. We're now gonna take you in the grand living space of the house. Prepare yourself because this is gonna be something else even. But here also the devastating part of the house is taking place. It's unfortunately falling apart. And after 30 years of abandonment, what would you expect? Especially for these wooden Swedish houses. In the south, we all built with stone, but in the north, most people built with wood. Yeah, it's, you can hear it raining. Yeah, it's dripping, dripping yeah. inside. And it I rains feel, a lot over here. I feel like people place the cups here to, to catch water, but it's not helping. It's not helping. No. And it's really sad to see that the spinning, spinning wheel, wheel is there. That shouldn't be there. No, but and it looks like it's in perfect condition also. Yeah. It's not going to be here for long anymore, I think. It's going to collapse. Yeah, Any unfortunately. Then these wonderful paintings on the wall as well, slowly getting destroyed by the dripping water inside of this house. Wow, this ceiling looks like it's about to cave in, literally. We have to be careful up there. Yeah. But then have a look to the side here of all the memories and stuff that's still here. This wonderful Swedish clock here on the wall. We saw one before in Elsa's house as well. Yeah. This is a very typical depiction of a Swedish clock. And then this drawer down below, with all the porcelain and the beautiful memories and pieces on top of there. Oh. Absolutely love this. This is what these people collected over their lifetime. This is the things that these people were proud of. And it's now all here, decaying away. Their, their beautiful memories of their children that they little recreated and <laughs> brought onto Earth are now falling apart here. I don't, unfortunately don't know why the children never came in here to save anything in the property, but... Yeah, and there's not much sign of children in the no, house. No, this is like the, one of the only pictures that we yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's first look at this little sitting area over here. Here we had a little bench where they could sit in the evening, drink some coffee, drink some liquors like you can see. 
the finest Scottish whiskey. <laughs> That's amazing. The falling ships of paint on top oh, of the table. You know what this is for? I think it's to put, put um, napkins in between. Yep. Yeah. I love the bench over there as well with the cushions on top. See those left cushions on the left? They yeah. have that Swedish depiction on there. Very beautiful. Some more things. Swedish and Nijmegen. A lot of Swedish and Nijmegen, so Dutch, uh, Dutch and Swedish uh, things are coming back. More of their ancestors here on the wall as well. And can, can you believe that this clock is from 1822? Yeah, yeah. Would it be? Would Probably. it be that old? Wow. Oh, he still has the weights and everything. Still completely intact. That's crazy. That's a beautiful clock. The house keeps getting crazy and crazier. No, there's no light in this place. I wanted to turn on the lights, but... Jeez. Ah. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. What is... I think this is one of those devices to make butter with. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, use them like that. But this is in this house, of course, just a display piece in the corner of the room. The fireplace. Normally we have these very big, extravagant fireplaces in these Swedish places. But this one is a little bit ordinary to me. It's not very special at all. Yeah, but I think it's just for decoration. Yeah. It's not even for use. You can see Tore, his pipes and everything. Oh, Still on top of here. Look how beautiful they are. An arc pipe that would be smoking all night long inside of this room. Lovely porcelain pipe with the windmills on there. Very typical for Sweden. Wow. And all the rocks that he collected even more up on top of here. A table filled with porcelain and even another pipe of his. Definitely an advocate pipe smoker. <laughs> wow. You almost stepped over it, but uh, yeah. there's another and one of those. One. And this one is completely made out of leather, as you can see. This is also an Electrolux. This is also an Electrolux. Electrolux yeah. But I think already a very old model, in my opinion. Or an older model. Older. Yeah. And then we have this grand cabinet here on the wall. And this one is still in pristine condition. Everything is still on there. All the candles on the top with the crystals and I, I love them. Yeah. This, oh. b before there was light, this is what were chandeliers. Yeah. Just and the then candles. The crystal would reflect the light of the candles and would create this beautiful scene throughout the house. Wow. All these boots, these porcelain boots. <laughs> Isn't that just beautiful? These were all their collections and what uh, kept these people busy throughout life. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Sorry. This was a little a kind shot of shot glass. glass. Yeah, that's a Swedish. In Germany, we um, so we have the small ones and big ones. The small ones are for shots, and we also have the big boots, and then we drink beer from. As a literal glass boot, and then you drink a nice pint out of it. And here in Sweden, they have the small ones, as you can see. I love these. Uh, glass cats as well. <laughs> there were also liquor bottles back in the time. And then down below here, you can see a nice display of pictures. Tore, the man of the house. This hat was for graduation in Sweden. So probably he came right out of university or somewhere. And then here is a picture of their marriage. That makes me silent for a moment. That's beautiful to yeah. see. Even more pictures of their ancestors to this side. Oh, that's the same picture you showed oh, yeah. a minute ago. Mm -hmm. The one I thought was from late 1800s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Have we showed this one? No, another music box. N no, no, no. Let's not have this in yet another video. Please stop. Creepy. <laughs> I didn't Lens. even know it was a music box. I was just wanted to turn the blades off it. Let's leave it in the background. <laughs> the tears.
drinking from a Swedish river. This makes it very creepy. It's very creepy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why did you touch it? And now we have the two seats where they would sit in the evening together. Sevilla and Tore next to each other in their living space. Oh, wow. This wall. I love this wall. Covered with porcelain plates. Wow. I don't even know where to start. No, we just have a overview from left to right, maybe, or right to right, left, to whatever left. you want to do. These are also so beautiful. I yeah, love the this. The churches. The church. Have you seen this one down below here? It's a big pig. A big pig with an apple in the mouth. Wow. And I believe this is a Japanese one, looking at the style of it. Yeah. It's almost gone. Yeah. It didn't survive. Absolutely beautiful. These shouldn't be here. It's... Yeah. From when guests came over, they still have their sugar ready to put on the table. Wow, that's amazing. That's something else. There's, I think one thing we overlooked. What? These are these carved wooden trolls. It's a very typical Swedish thing. This is called a troll, and the trolls live in the mountains in Sweden now, in the north of Europe. And here they are carved. Wood carvings are very common for this area of the world. And then this one last little table over here in the middle of the room. Some liquors still standing on there. Some crystal glasses. Beautiful. And then the devoured again, plants. Again, plants. Yeah. They really like real plants. Oh, and a cactus. Oh, even the cactus died. <laughs> I mean, a cactus it's, dies, it's been 30 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know that when a cactus dies, you know that it's old. Yeah. Yeah. Let me give an overview again of so sad this on this room. It's so beautiful and so sad at the same time that it leaves me speechless, I yeah. guess. Jeez, I don't want to leave it behind any. I want to save it. Yeah. I think a lot of people watching this right now would love the opportunity to save something like this. Maybe in the future when we have more experience than this, we might make something like this happen, but we don't know how. We don't know how. Okay, let's make our way now up the stairway to the top floor of this place. Another beautiful part of this house. You can see this is already very different, the colors and everything. I've not seen a stairway like this before in Sweden. It's very beautiful. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. And the first thing that we notice over here when we come to the upper floors is actually at our walk-in cabinet. And that's really walk -in cool. Walk-in closet. Walk-in closet, excuse yeah, me. No worries. That's, that's really cool that it's made into this cavity inside of the house. So we can see all the women's clothing inside oh, of here. What's happening? It doesn't smell that good. I'm going, just going to show quickly. There's this jacket. Oh. It's definitely from the man. Oh, these are uh, Torias clothes? No, it's mixed. But this jacket is really beautiful. Wow, and, this and it's a really there. tight space. Yeah, OK. It's and this is, this is literally the roof. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> OK, let me turn back. Yeah, be careful, my friend. I will. Oh. It's really cool that it's built into the side yeah. of the hallway here. It's like they try to... Literally, when you close it up, you don't even see it anymore. It's uh, like... I mean, there's it, a door there. It's a door, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And here we come to the upper floors of the house. Okay, I'll... I took the picture that I had before with me. It's in the pocket over here. And I thought... Oh yeah, it's not. It's not exactly the same, but it might have been back in the time. I might have changed the wallpaper, but this one is definitely from Tore. You can see, we can look at the picture yeah. again, Tore. I thought it was this wallpaper, but this wallpaper also does justice. It's beautiful though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and it looks no it, it looks absolutely magnificent here a Sevillara clothes still hanging up with the flowers and everything her purse her boxes where she stored her hats inside let's take one of these I'm just gonna place it on the ground for a second look at that the hat is still in there it's a hat I don't know actually it doesn't look like a hat it's maybe something to put your hands in like this you know yeah weird <laughs> <laughs> very weird thing if anybody but knows you, but what we it is. see the hat of the man there struggling yeah <laughs> struggling a little bit can you show the hat this is the hat of Tore. Oh, wow beautiful piece look at the emblem inside of there wow it's made in paris that's a beautiful one. Oh, I dropped this handkerchief. Let's place this back and come upstairs, my friend. It's time to show the upstairs of this place. And look at this hallway here with that window up there and the plant in the middle. Wow, beautiful up here. Everything also displayed over here. A bookcase, a little library. You can see all their accountancy stuff is all still in here. All the books that I read are still nicely stacked up here. Even on the floor, you can see a little map. I'm just gonna take them out. The pictures again. There's already very new pictures, I would say. Yeah. It's one of the newest pictures that are made. Look at this, this is the living room. Yeah, you see the clock back there? Yeah, and this is the table that was standing there. Yep, wow. the Swedish clock. Yep, 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 yep. Wow. So that's, that's Tore. Tore and Sevilla probably. And they're all day. Wow. Isn't that just magnificent? That's beautiful to see. Yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. Shouldn't be on the floor. Let's place this black up here. The plans and everything still standing here. And I love. Oh, yeah, you can open I'm it. Just gonna. Oh, nothing. Like paper scraps. A small violin <laughs> also up here. Yeah. Probably just a display decoration piece. piece decoration yeah. piece. Decoration piece, yeah. Wow. I love the rocking chair that we have also here standing in the middle of the hallway. Very typical Swedish thing as well. Yeah. You see a lot of rocking chairs throughout this country. You've already seen yeah. a couple. Wow. Now also I'm very really curious. This chandelier. No. No. Why does the fridge still work, but this one doesn't? I have no idea. The chandelier is, however, very beautiful. Yeah, it is. It spins around like that. Matches. All the matches still in here, yeah. Love the box as well. What do you think is inside the chest? Uh, I would say blankets, but I'm not sure. I mean, Sweden. It's Sweden. Oh, there are some blankets in there. Yeah. Wow. Wow, okay. Mm. <laughs> That's a first for Sweden. Yep. And then in a winter landscape, a cabin in a winter landscape as well. Look out I here. Also... Yeah, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. You can also see that they had a little patio out here. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Where they it's could probably beautiful. sit and watch over the fields and enjoy the morning sun. Oh, and there's... Antlers there. Yeah, an antler high. I think it's very difficult to go on there though. Yeah, it's very difficult. We have to remove everything from the way, so. Yeah. Just gonna show you like this. It's just a little patio where they hang up their clothes. Yeah. I love the elephant as well that's standing yeah. here in the corner. <laughs> that's beautiful. Let's go into the first room. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna make the way for you. Yeah, this is very cramped with stuff. Oh my. Oh. Again, a very full room. Lots of things on the wall again. Lots of things to look at. But first, again, another rocking chair. And I love how long it protrudes. We could really do a long rocking yeah, motion yeah. in this one. Oh, my head just bumped into the... <laughs> bumped into the... <laughs> wonderful chandelier. Yeah, it's very low. You know what that is? The house? An the aerial house picture of the house. The house that we're in right now. You see this middle window? That's, That's the window from the hallway. You can also see the flagpole still standing outside here. Oh yeah. 
We talked in the beginning about those flags in the hallway. They would be hanging up there. Whoa. Everything is still on here. More trophies. Small picture of a child. Same one as we saw downstairs. Telephone oh, up there. Wow, this one is beautiful. Even Ben. Oh, and the ink. ink. Still it is still full of ink. Crazy. Oh my god. And it looks really in pristine condition. Two men. Oh, a man and a woman sitting outside here in front of their house. This one is painted in 1956. A typical Swedish house. Somewhere in Sweden, of course. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There's so much stuff in here. Look at this wonderful boat. Looks, Looks very, very handmade. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I cannot leave this stuff on the ground, Danny. There's, but there's so much stuff. Yeah. It's, it's like you said, I, sometimes I wish I, we could save everything, but it's really hard, impossible. It's almost Especially impossible. traveling. Yeah. See these diplomas? Sevilla, Sevilla, Torre. And I can read this, this is fully in Dutch. Koninkrijk Nederlandse Bond voor Lichamelijke Opvoeding Diploma. And this is the, uh, the, the Royal uh, Diploma for um, Sports. And it's also a Nijmegen. Wow, 1977. And they did a day course of 40 kilometers there. Wow, 40 kilometers. Yeah. That's a lot. And here, oh. Yeah. <laughs> the chandelier is very low. I, these people must have either been very, very small or know where the chandelier is after a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here we have a desk where they would study at or some sort. Here they would probably write their handwritten notes. All the plans and everything is still on here. Norwegian flag, post-it stamps. And a big Swedish, Swedish one. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so many plants standing on top of here. Love the alarm clock as well that we have here. You can see all the post-it stamps. Yeah, there's Still thousands here. on the floor. Yeah. Maybe one they of them. definitely collected. You see this white thing around it? It's from a, a postcard or a letter and they crop it out yeah. and you put it in water and they unglue itself. Mm. And that's how you collect them. Small shot glass holder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I could, can see more. Oh, those vintage pictures. It's the same people that, was, that were downstairs. They had so many pictures of their ancestors yeah. still. Have a look over here. We also got a display to this side. People getting married. I don't know if they're Torre or Sevilla. I'm not 100% sure about that. You got a man in the army over here. That's the same one as in that yeah, photo. That's exactly the same one. And then another picture of that boy here to the right. Wow, that's a beautiful picture of the house that we got up there. Yeah. That's a picture from back in the time like a literal shot of the front of the house when it was not overgrown like now. And I told you just in the living room about those trolls that live in the Swedish mountains. And here we can see a literal depiction of a troll sleeping in one of those Swedish mountains. <laughs> That's literally the legends of this kind of the world, yeah. of this part of the world, like trolls roam the, roam the earth here. <laughs> oh, this one's also pretty cool. Yeah, yeah does it very, look... A little bit more abstract, I would say, or...? No, no. no. Beautiful though, very very colorful. Yeah. Exercise bike. Somebody wanted to keep in shape inside of the house, even if they're not got enough sports yeah. <laughs> going on. This painting is completely ripped. Yeah. Cabin in the woods. Of course, even more postage stamps and pictures. Here we can see a man or a woman fishing, maybe Sevilla fishing. Love this one as well. Yes. The birds. Really beautiful. Feeding their for the air youngsters over here. And a Christmas decoration also still present in here. Look at how old this box looks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The lights for the tree. <sighs> okay. One more room. One more room. You know what I found weird, Danny? 
This room as well doesn't have a bed inside of it. So I'm just wondering where did Where's this, the bed? Where is the bed? <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just clueless about it. Where would I sleep? There's also no bathroom in this house. No, there is a bathroom downstairs. Yeah, but no like shower. Or was there a shower in there? I didn't, I didn't saw the whole bathroom, mm. I just saw the toilet, so I don't know. That's very strange. In Sweden, we don't often come across bathrooms inside of houses. Yeah. Like, why do people wash themselves? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird question. We got this milk jug standing here on the floor. Wow. The milkman would deliver oh. the milk in here. Yeah, I, I really love it. this one. Oh my God. This is the exact same radio as I've sending at home. I have exactly the same one. I got it from my uh, uncle. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and I love the little colorful carpet on top of there as well. Oh. Wine fest, the uh, wine festive. I'm backing up yeah. <laughs> slowly because there's so much stuff here. Oh, that's the camera. That's the box of the camera yeah. that you saw pocket, downstairs yeah, yeah. where we it's saw the, the pictures camera, from. Yeah. So they still had everything left of here. See, this room is a little bit of a junkyard, I must say. Yeah, it's all over the place. I'm trying not Just to step on things. Talk about a couple of things in here. I love these chairs that we have. 1821 have written on them. Beautiful wood carved chairs, probably handmade. The glasses still lying on top of there. And of course, what did you expect? More, More plants. <laughs> <laughs> that clock on the wall. Oh my God, Danny. Yeah, I saw it. I'm going to show you a show afterwards. Yeah, the one down below there. Wow, that's from the child of the house. He drew the house, the beautiful yellow house. That yeah, it's really yellow, it stands out. Yeah. And the crow, and the oh, Swedish yeah. landscape. I, I didn't thought that Sweden had a lot of crows, but we have seen so many. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Hundreds and hundreds. hundreds yeah. Crazy. A little extension of this rock collection as well. Oh, you're first showing that. <laughs> I'm just showing you a bear. Yeah. <laughs> this is an extension of his rock collection. You see that he also Iceland. labeled them. 82, 1886. 86. It's wow. before the big touristy bomb, uh, touristy explosion in Iceland. Yeah. Wow. This is sort of a spinning wheel as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Very old one. The only thing that I'm still clueless about is where did I sleep? <laughs> so, like, did we show this room as well? No. Yeah, that's the room that's that's caving in, that's yeah. collapsing. Down on that corner. We're not gonna collapsing. go in there. That's too I'm dangerous. Gonna, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna show from here. Yeah. That this was the storage room where they placed everything that they didn't need it. Yeah. Clearly, there's so much stuff in here, and everything is falling to that corner. So, yeah, it's sad to see. Sad to see. I'm gonna make my way downstairs again. What a place. I'm just gonna appreciate it for a little more before we go out. I wish we could save it. So we just filmed this awesome place here. Now we can get a glance at the front of this wonderful house. It stands really out with the yellow color. Danny, yeah. I really enjoyed this exploration. Me what too. a time capsule. 30 years of abandonment. How did you like it? It's, it's crazy. It's crazy that it's for 30 years, it's still here. Still like this. And still fully furnished. Yeah. It's crazy. I loved it. If you liked it as well, like the video, subscribe to the channel and write a nice comment in the comment section. There's also a link in the description for Patreon. Support us over there that helps us go around the world and explore these epic abandoned places. I want to thank you all and we see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye bye. I love you. Bye.